In this video, we're gonna talk about how customers use Amazon to discover, research, and ultimately buy products and how that behavior can play into your Amazon success. So why do customers open the Amazon app on their phone, right? Like they ultimately just go to it automatically. If you're like me, you don't even think about it sometimes, right? You can't argue with the consumer behavior. They've been ingrained just to go to Amazon to purchase something. I'll use a couple of examples. My printer ran out of ink the other day. Where did I ultimately go immediately? Amazon app on my phone, looked at the ink I bought last time, purchased it again. My kids are making lists for the holidays right now. How are they doing that? They're literally just taking links and saving them from Amazon to, to give us, right, of things they wanna buy. So it's funneling down to our children. But this is how the behavior that customers have if Amazon is ultimately the go-to engine for a lot of customers purchase behaviors, right? So when thinking about how customers actually discover, research, and purchase products, you kind of have to break out the, the different phases into different, you know, different realms here. So we've got the discover part, right? Where they're looking for things on thing, maybe platforms like Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and they may be being exposed to a product somewhere digitally. Maybe it's not digitally, maybe it's on a billboard somewhere, maybe it's in a store display, but that's more the discovery part of it, right? And then they've got the research part. The research part where they find out more information. They're going to sites obviously like Google, typing it in. Maybe they're looking at a site like the Wire Cutter owned by the New York Times for a ton of reviews on different kinds of products. And they're maybe using Google or another platform to also compare prices. And then you have purchase platforms. Purchase platforms obviously being like Amazon, but also other e-commerce marketplaces like Walmart or even a brand's own store on their website. And if you think about it, those are three different behaviors, but Amazon can frankly kind of encompasses all of them. Obviously they're the purchase platform, but a lot of customers will start their searches on Amazon to discover new products, and obviously research products, reviews that we've talked about before, are a huge component of the Amazon ecosystem. Customers wanna know what other people are saying about a product. They wanna read those reviews, they wanna know what they like, what they don't like, they wanna look at pictures, videos, and things like that to ultimately make their buying decision. So to understand this, you have to put yourself in the customer's frame of mind, right? You have to put yourself in the customer's shoes when they're thinking about or exposed to a new product and, and how they're gonna find more information about that product and ultimately buy it, right? So, you know, if they're gonna hear about a product or your product from something like a friend mentioning it at a dinner party or it popped up in their Instagram feed or they heard about the benefits of X, which, you know, your product provides, right? So. Um, those are the different ways the customers are hearing about things. And then what are they going to do when they want to know more, right? What do a lot of customers do? They literally pull up the Amazon app on their phone and they're going to type in the product name or benefit that they're looking for or the problem they're looking to solve. And that's how they're searching. That's how customers are thinking about it. And again, it's become ingrained in us. It's that default behavior because Amazon provides such great recommendations for a lot of these keyword phrases that we put in and it solved our problems in the past. So we went the path of least resistance in solving those new problems and finding those new products. All right, so let's take a look at this from a practical example, right? It's important to tie your Amazon listing back into the customer psychology, right? How they're gonna search, find, and buy your product. So go to the Amazon app on you know, your phone or, or go to Amazon on your computer um, and go to the search bar and type in your brand name. Just type in your brand name, don't hit enter, and look at all the auto-suggested results that are gonna appear under that. These are real search terms that customers are using to search for your brand on Amazon. You'd be surprised on, you know, you just have maybe a short brand name of one or two or three words, it's your brand name, and then the other words you're seeing added after that, right? Right or wrong, maybe you don't identify them with your product, that's how customers are identifying with. That's a huge piece of intel that you can use both strategically in your Amazon listing, but also in the ways of influencing your marketing and how you position your product as well. So that, that's one thing you can do. The other thing you can do is go back to the Amazon search bar on your app or your computer, right? And type in either the number one benefit your product provides or maybe the number one problem your product solves. And you can doing that, you're gonna be able to see again, different phrases and how those are done, the auto suggest results. But once you do hit enter on that one, right? You're actually gonna see what products show up first for that exact problem or for that exact feature, right? And you're gonna be able to see how are the, maybe your products in the top you know, three, great, right? On the search results page. Maybe you're in the sponsored listings as well, but maybe you're not 
in any of that. Maybe you're on page four. Look at those initial pages that you see on page you know, one, those top maybe five results. Just pull them up in new tabs and look at each one and just kind of take some notes on why it's an appealing product for that problem or feature, right? How they're solving for that. And look at what their Amazon page looks like. How are they presenting their product, right? What kind of images are they using? What kind of text are they using? And how are they conveying that? What's their price point? How many reviews do they have? And you're not gonna be able to match them maybe one for one and all that stuff. But the more you know and understand on that customer's default behavior of going to Amazon, the better you can manipulate Amazon to work for you rather than against you. So now that you know how customers are discovering, research, and buying products, it helps you understand how customers are using Amazon and how that plays into their that whole process, right? Again, Amazon is a platform that can do all those things. And for a lot of customers, they start with Amazon. They don't start with Google search or they don't go to the brand's website. They, by default, go to Amazon. And the more you can understand that and understand that behavior, understand the types of words customers are using to search for your products, right? And how they're finding you and how they're converting and what those top pages look like, the more you can make Amazon be successful for you and your brand.